guys, this week's performance care segment is coming from our Bulletproof Shoulders program. First, the ground rules. We want to keep a conversational pace throughout the entirety of the segment. For those people who like to quantify things, that's going to be five breaths for every 20 seconds. You can stop after every exercise and count just to make sure. We also want to make sure that you keep a slower down, faster up tempo with all movements, right? That's just going to make sure that you are controlling everything that you're doing. Now let's get to the segment. So we're going to start. It's going to be three rounds, four quality. You're going to keep the weights light. So you're going to do a 60 meter one arm overhead carry on each arm. So each round will be 120 meters of overhead carry, 60 each arm. From there, you're going to go into a 60 meter one arm waiter carry, right? So we're going to bring it down from overhead to the one arm front rack position, if you will. Keep the same weight. We don't want you guys mixing the weight up. Just keep the weight the same. It's going to be light. From there, we're going to do 10 push up to elbow planks. Right, so we want to make sure that we're doing this nice and controlled. We want to make sure that our shoulders and hips are staying in alignment and that we're not twisting about our core. The last movement we're going to do is going to be 10 wall slides. So what we want you guys to do is slide up that wall just as far as you can. Now obviously everybody's going to have different mobility. So some people might not be able to all fully lock out all the way and that's okay. Just get to your end range. If you're someone who has pretty flexible shoulders, right, we want you to get all the way in and then pull your hands off the wall. Some people might be in between where you just go all the way up and that you're unable to lift your hands off the wall and that's okay. It's all about finding your end range and hanging out at end range for a little bit. So when do you want to work this stuff in? You want to work this in on active recovery days. You can also work them in as your warm up before a workout. So those are the two areas that we like to work it in. Let us know how it goes.